Bam! What up all you good looking people? I hope all you guys are having an amazing day so far. But before we start this thrift fit, I just wanna send positive vibes to you all and give you guys a quick encouragement. Don't let the negative people or the negativity bring you down, man. Don't feed into the negativity. Don't care too much about what other people say about you, what other people think about you, how they judge you or criticize you. All those things add more stress on your life and it's more stress that you don't need. And also, don't let your past, your struggles, or what you're going through right now bring you down. Stay positive, keep doing what you do, and keep grinding, man. All right, enough of all that. If you're new to my channel, hey, what's up, hello? My name's Hustle and Joe, and if you've been to my channel before and you've already seen some of my vids, thanks for rocking with me. I appreciate you all, really. All right, today I will be taking you along with me as I give you guys a VIP exclusive inside look at my trip to the thrifts but before we do let me give you guys a quick outfit of the day you gotta stay g'd up from the feet up you feel me so for today's choice of footwear we are rocking the og 1985 air jordan one carolinas aka my grails and my favorite color sky blue it is summer so i am rocking a pair of nike sweatshorts and next for the tea i'm rocking an og vintage tommy hilfiger shirt and lastly, on my head, I'm rocking an old school Los Angeles Raiders corduroy zipper back hat. There's the zipper back. It's corduroy, Los Angeles Raiders. <sighs> All right, now onto these thrift stores so we can get these thrift scores. All right, people, what's good? What's happening? We're over here at the next thrift. We're in Covina, California, AKA the Cove my hometown let's see what they have at these thrifts let's get it check this out at the salvation army real quick this one i have to get i haven't seen one like this in this colorway at least you know what you want to call this a shamrock green or a minty green so this one's very fresh, it's definitely dope. I gotta get it. So I'm at a thrift store with my mom in Covina and look what I stumble across. Another man's trash is another man's treasure, just like I always say. And look what I find, a pair of trashed black cement threes. You look at the condition, it's horrible. Permanent marker, they try to paint the thing. They thought they were sick with the restoration game, but they were not. But anyways, they donated it. Guess how much they are? They are $5.99. I could definitely restore it. It looks fresh, make it look clean, bring back the shape, put some fresh laces, and then there you'll have it. Black cement threes at the thrift store. Dope. So we found a pair of beat black cement Air Jordan threes at the thrift for $5.99. But how much do we get it for? $2.99. $2.99, because it's like half off. Uh, what a deal. Great day today. Thank you, <laughs> thrift store. I found this cool long tee essential shirt. Number 24, you know what it is, it's Jeff Gordon. This is a vintage Jeff Gordon shirt slash jersey with that logoing on the side, gotta get it. Then we got us the Last King shirt. I like the pharaoh right there. What really makes the shirt pop is the cheetah sleeve, just a nice touch. How do I look, how do I look? I just got a fresh cut and the reason you see me all dressed up is because I got a job interview today, but before I do, I said might as well hit the thrift. And I, I got some come ups, I'll show you guys in a bit. Me being a big Nike fan that I am, I'm a big fan of um, the OG vintage Nike gear, I thought I stumbled across something super sick. It is not a Nike, a vintage Nike shirt, so triple A. But nonetheless, this deserves some recognition. The hammock is in the shape of a Nike swoosh, and then you got the sloth over there just slothing it. Just do it later. <laughs> Guys, no matter what, you just gotta keep digging because I go into the rack and look what I find, a Tommy Hilfiger vintage piece to go with the Tommy Hilfiger vintage jeans that I found with the vintage Tommy jeans patch. I just left my local thrift at the Salvation Army Family Store and in it, I found the vintage Tommy jeans with the OG patch. 
along with the shirt to match. Sick. So earlier when you saw me in my interview dress up clothes, I told you I would show you some of my come ups. Well, let me show you right now. Well, there's a lot of stuff, so I'm gonna show you the rest of it at the end of the video at the recap. But what I really wanted to show you guys is what's in this Goodwill bag right here. We found a pair of vapes at the thrift store. Check it out, a very clean and simple black and white vapes with the black patent leather and the white star. And that, my friends, is why I always get a thrill when I'm walking out of the Goodwill. Let's get it. We have arrived. I went to like six thrift stores today. We are at the last stop at a Goodwill here in Wesco. Let's check it out. Just got to the spot and I'm arriving as usual, stepping fresh in the OG 1985 Carolina. Let's see what's inside. It's a Thursday. You know what that means, color of the week specials. Yeah. Vintage Nike, you can see the vintage Nike tag, but it is an XL, too big for me. Next one. Looking through, and I see this Kobe jersey, but then behind it, I see that 2000s Polo Jeans Company shirt. That USA flag right there. It is a must cop. Look at that, Betty Boop just sitting pretty on the right pec, on the right chest. Her shadow up coming across the shirt. Pretty dope. Coming down the shirt, it looks like a tie-dye effect. Also looks like they're trying to make it look like water. It goes with the shoes, as you can tell. It is an older tag. And that Betty Boop right there is not screen printed. Vintage quality. I gotta cop it. Los Angeles Lakers tees. Twinning. You know what, in my arsenal, in my closet, I notice I don't have enough orange as it is a tough color to rock that a lot of people don't like to get. I do like variety. <laughs> it's this Playboy right there. But anyways, it is an authentic as you can tell and it does have the original tag with that holographic snow bunny right there. Shout out to all the fine snow bunnies. My, that's an inside joke with the friends by the way. Playboy Athlete World Triathlon. Only the strong survive. Mm. Christian Dior son. Patchwork is on point. But it's not all about getting the name brand stuff. Check out this sweater though. This, it says let's all pump iron. This would be perfect when I go to the gym. I'll definitely lift in this thing and make some gains in it. This thing is super old. Venice Merchant 1988. He's pumping iron, making some gains. As you can see, check out the biceps. And he's just lifting those barbells, no problem. And searching through the jackets, I find this very sweet. Classic Arizona Jean Company jacket. I'll put how dope this is. And the material is like this like suede material, very soft. Gotta get it. Arizona patch right there. It has that really cool suede material. With the suede material, you can like, you know, mess with it and write like write your name or draw stuff. Always that found that was pretty cool. Look at the cuffs. Well, you can put in the comment feed what you think that color is. It looks like a like a dark purple, maybe like a plum. And this is like a indigo blue. I don't know, it's like a different shade of blue. Big patch right there. And then this is the back. You see that Arizona right there. Definitely gotta get it, it's a classic. I just ran out of the Goodwill and I ran to my car real quick because the store is closing. And you know what? Lately, I've been realizing I've been spending way too much money on my thrifts. I'm gonna get some of the clothes from uh, the previous Goodwills or thrifts that I went to today or this week, uh, but I'm gonna do an exchange so that I don't spend any unnecessary money because I like the clothes that I got from here better than uh, some of the ones I got here. All right, so you got that Playboy shirt. And let's look at the tag real quick. It used to be $69, then it was marked down to $39. I right hear you got the $14.99. But how much is it? $1. Why is that? Because we're having the yellow and red sale today. And it is a red tag, so yes, it, is it is only a dollar. That one will be $1. Exactly. So you guys better check out your local thrifts, but go on Thursdays because you got the $1 days. Check it out. Just like the other one, there's also a red tag. No jeans company, Ralph Laurent. We also get it for the cheap because it is on sale. So it looks like I'm gonna be owing $10.98 for all the stuff I got. It was definitely a deal. Yes, sir. Another good night at the thrift. As you can see, I'm, I'm walking away with a bunch of stuff. I got a bunch of bags and I'm ready to make that moolah, sell some stuff, but also I'm gonna keep some stuff because some of this stuff is too sick to part. See you guys in a bit, peace. All right, people, welcome back. Now time for the recap, let's get into it. So starting off, let's start with the star, the Bape stuff that is. Just a pair of black pennant leather Bapes with the white hits, as I give you a 360 view of the shoe. And next up to bat, we got a classic, the Air Jordan 3 
black cement. And we thrifted this only for $2.99. Now let's work our way down this big pile. Next, we got that Zion Rootswear Bob Marley Rasta colored shirt. Man, it fits pretty good. And we only thrifted that for $1.99. And the reason I had to get it, I love Bob Marley. I always found his music to be so inspiring and positive. And this art piece was from my art show way back when in 2010 when I was in high school. And my art show was called Lyrical Art and basically I took some of my favorite songs and took apart the lyrics and the words of the songs and transformed that into pieces of art. See this Bob Marley art piece was based upon the lyrics of Three Little Birds. And next up for seven bucks we got that vintage Disney Mickey Mouse sweatshirt. A classic. LA Pride Baby. I'm an LA cat so I had to get this LA shirt. As you can see it is the vintage Los Angeles Kings shirt. Old brand, pro player, size medium. $2.99. Just like you saw earlier in the vid, we got that vintage Betty Boop shirt and we only thrifted that for one buck. And as you can see, it is not screen printed. Patchwork, baby. And what kind of Laker fan would I be if I didn't pick up this sick Laker shirt? Three Peat Fever from 2000 to 2002 NBA Finals vintage shirt from Joe Boxer. And we only thrifted this for a dollar as well. Why not? And you see Kobe just slamming and jamming. You see the Polo Horseman right there. And we got that very fresh, very minty Polo Ralph Lauren jacket. And you gotta love the colorway. $7.95. Burn! NASCAR, NASCAR. We got that vintage Jeff Gordon jersey shirt, number 24. It was a steal, we got it for only $9.95. And I know you see that Jeff Gordon spell out on the back of the jersey. Sick fine, had to get it. I don't usually like to get the hipster stuff, but this one I had to get. At the thrift store, we found that essential shirt. It's a long tee, but it has a really cool pattern right there as it is textured. And we only thrifted that for $4.95. Last Kings, Pharaoh right there. Cheetah print sleeves, $4.95. We got that Playboy right there. Athlete World Triathlon, only the strong survive. And this is the one that we only got for $1 because it was $1 Thursdays. Ralph Lauren polo jean sweatshirt. And we got this baby for only a dollar as well. In addition, we got that Let's All Pump Iron Vintage shirt with that bunny just lifting the weights. We got that for five bucks. Oh yeah, Christian Dior at the thrift store. We found that Christian Dior vintage cardigan. And this was also for the $5 foot long price. Five bucks, baby. Hey, yes sir, we got that classic Arizona Jean Company vintage varsity jacket. Very sick. Gotta love the colorway. And we got this one for like 10 bucks. Bam, almost forgot about these little guys. We got this at the Salvation Army and we only got it for $5.99. Infrared sixes. And we got that Tommy Hilfiger outfit just in case you guys wanted to rock the whole outfit. Here's that Tommy Hilfiger Tommy jeans. Size 30, and we thrifted it for only $7.99. You gotta love the patchwork and the flags right there. And also to complete the outfit, we got that Tommy Hilfiger shirt right there. These next two Nike Windbreaker jackets I'm about to show you are actually not from inside the thrift store, but outside. What I mean is that one of my thrifting friends found these two Nike Windbreakers and then he ended up selling it to me for cheaper because he knows I love Nike stuff and I actually always hook him up with stuff that he wants. Let me show you. All right, the first one is this old school 1990, I believe 1992 vintage Nike windbreaker as you can see here's the old tag I believe it is a 92 it's in that Chicago Bulls home colorway right here on the pectoralis major on the upper chest is this cool Nike basketball patch let's 360 to the back on the back we have this jump man jump man jump man crispy clean and very simple 90s piece gotta love it and the second Nike windbreaker I got from my homie outside of the thrift store was this guy. A pretty crazy loud vintage Nike windbreaker. This one's an XL, an extra large and in charge. And the other one that I showed you was a size large. I mean, look at that color blocking though. And also on the pecs, we got that Nike logo right there. We acquired both these joints for 30 bucks together. And last but certainly not least, we got that very dope vintage Laker Pro Player jacket. Size large, you got that Los Angeles Lakers patchwork on the breast. And on the back, in between the lats, we got that Los Angeles Lakers patch right there. And also we got those Los Angeles Lakers logos across the sleeves. Jeez. This was also regular price, 10 bucks, but I had to get it. I am a Laker fan, so this was a must cop. So I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift vid. So comment, like, rate, and hit that subscribe because these videos are coming at you live. And y'all know the motto, all day long we gotta keep that thrift game strong. Mm.
Peace. <laughs> Have a good one, y'all.